Hey Jay, just wanted to give you an update on what I'm working on here this weekend. So I took the end cap off the motor. Uh, the great thing about this motor is it's pretty easy to do maintenance on even when it's on the machine. So there's these four threaded rods. You just uh, loosen up the, the, um, the nuts on the end of each end. You can pull the end cap off. And I uh, took the bearing off. I've got bearing pullers. And then behind that is this piece here. It's called a shorting necklace. And in this shorting necklace, let me see if I can focus this a little better. In this shorting necklace, there's essentially a spring that runs all the way around here. And when it's spinning, the spring loosens and then um, uh, goes to induction mode. That's why it's called repulsion induction motor. When it's uh, starting, it's using repulsion. Uh, and then when it gets up to speed, that spring removes, uh, releases the, um, the tension on this. And then it goes into induction mode and then just spins freely. So I'm going to work on cleaning this up a little bit and uh, making sure that spring is doing what it's supposed to be doing in there. This is another one of the common things on these motors. So uh, let me uh, work on this and then put it back all together and we'll see how, how it runs.